Just when we thought this team could be turning a corner, we got the same old Bears. The Bears just lost 19-13 to to the Minnesota Vikings. We're going to break it down for you in just a moment, but first leave a comment with your reaction to this Bears performance. The game started off with an embarrassing six-play, three-yard drives. He had negative 11 yards on first down, a screen pass for negative five yards, and a sack. It led to a punt, and then after that, the Bears and Vikings traded field goals until late in the second quarter when Kirk Cousins was strip-sacked, giving Chicago great field position. The Bears worked it to a third and one and were primed to score at least three points on the drive, but instead of running it like they had been the entire game, they took a deep shot to the end zone and Justin threw a pick. The Vikings marched down the field and scored a touchdown. The PA2 was blocked, but it made it 12-6 to at the end of the half. In the first half, Justin only had 10 throws. He stayed in the pocket way too long and scrambled on like every sign of pressure. It was bad. They didn't move the pocket at all, and only 10 throws is embarrassing for a QB you're trying to evaluate. The Bears had the ball after a Vikings punt in the third, and Justin gets sacked and injures his hands. There was an up down this. He actually dislocated his thumb and then relocated it, but couldn't grip a football, so he had to go out. So Tyson Bajan's coming in, and he gets strip sacked for a scoop and score. Don't worry, two drives later, he marches down the field and sneaks in his first career touchdown. It's now 19-13. to The Bears' defense is able to force a stop, and they get the ball back. It feels like this is a Bears moment. After being a terrible second-half team, letting up comeback after comeback to the Denver Broncos and other teams, the Bears finally get to be on the other end of it, and it's picked. Bajan tried to play hero ball and underthrew a ball so bad that I don't even know. DJ had no chance of getting it, killed the Bears' chances, and let the Vikes kneel at the clock. It's honestly just so frustrating. The offense finally gets good after the past two weeks, and they decided to just abandon everything that was working and go back to third down screens. Like, I don't get how you can have, like, an offensive breakout game, and you can't even stay at there. You got worse, and so much worse. It's two steps forward, four steps back. I can't anymore. The first time the defense played good, they really only held Minnesota to six points because those two turnovers don't happen. It's just going to be six points because the 12 points is not going to happen. That scoop and score doesn't happen. Not It can't score 20 points. Not even 13 since seven minutes of the scoop and score. This Bears team is not good at playing football, period. Ugh!